I'm so stressed right now. So I just got back from Paris last night and I'm going straight into London Fashion Week. I've been documenting my outfits over the past few weeks. First week was like just week in my life. Second week was week in Paris. And I have London Fashion Week. So I thought it would be really fun to like document my outfits, but it might be really rushed and crazy because I feel like it's like being back to back. I'm so exhausted, but I'm actually really proud of myself. I got ready today from using things that I already own, which is great. And actually honestly things that I've been waiting for an excuse to wear. So this is my first outfit of London Fashion Week. I have a show now and I also have a show later this evening, which I have to change for. So I'll show you this one now and then I also got something else later, which is so exciting. But anyway, how have you guys been? Because things have been busy. I don't know if it's just me, but like I feel like January was like so slow and then February just like came right for me. But um very excited. London Fashion Week! Ow. <laughs> okay, this has to be a really quick one because I do have to leave. But first up, I have this uh, top from Bisha. She's a small brand on Instagram, super cute. I love the detail in this. I think it's so cool. And it's also like one of those tops. It has like the thin down the middle, but like the rest is like a thicker lace. So you don't have to like wear anything underneath it. And I feel like that's so smartly designed because the amount of tops that I've bought that have been mesh, that like look like they, you can not wear a bra underneath, but then you have to, and then like you have a bra strap and it ruins the outfit. So slay to her for that. Secondly, I have this skirt, which is Chipova Luena. Oh my God, this is like the best thing that I've done. Probably like the most like, cool item that I have in my wardrobe. And I never get to wear it because it is kind of like intense, but it's gorgeous. And I just love the pattern on this one. Chipova Luena, actually they went to UAL um, and they create the most amazing designs. I think they're known for like this iconic skirt, but they have so many amazing things, like the necklace I'm wearing. So the necklace I'm wearing is also Chipova Luena, and I thought it just went really well with like the vibes of the skirt, obviously. And then on the bottom, I've added like these lace tights to kind of go with the, the top part. I feel like it's super cool. It looks kind of like it's one little bodysuit underneath. And then I've just gone for like some pointy uh, boots, which are from Depop. And then for my bag, I thought I'd go with this one, which is super cute. It's from uh, Roop. I feel like I've mentioned this a lot in my videos lately, if you've seen them. And I love her. She is a great, great bag for carrying a lot of things and still super cute. It has like these amazing like knot tie details and like the like pattern that made this bag is so cool. It's like a cube. Look at that. But then obviously the fabric like drapes. So cool. Wow. <laughs> I feel like I need to oil my hair before I leave because it's super frizzy, but Girl, I G T G T T Y L. Like, what do you think? <laughs> Wear it as a onesie? Yeah, yeah like, like really trousers. Like the sexy vibe of it. <laughs> Come right in. Oh my god. My god. Like, this is like, this is a sight to see. And it's like, <laughs> um, I'm like taking baggy pants to the next level. Furry pants. <laughs> fur boots that go up to your crotch. <laughs> Wait, hold, hold it here. Oh, Vicky, you're so fine. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> wait, I'm like, guys, like, I'm literally naked underneath this. What like, does wait, you guys. Wait, you wait, guys. You guys. Wait, wait, you guys. Wait, oh my god, ew. Oh, not my it boxer. <laughs> my special pants. <laughs> my special pants. Fit check. My makeup is like, oh. Am I even in? The slow zoom. <laughs> Where are you? My makeup is still musty from earlier. Girl, you smell musty. I'm kidding. Me just showing my. Hey, this is my fit check. Oh my. Why is our silhouette the same? No offense. Just kidding. Delete that. Ew, with like the yellow top okay. as well. 
<laughs> but like, I feel like someone would wear this and it would look good. Honestly, ooh, I have like this little low hanging tail from the back. <laughs> like, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, Why is everyone here looking so chaotic? I'm like, you look. You look. You look. You. <laughs> You're probably in frame. This is like the funniest bitch like, ever. Why did you take that one thing about? It's just, it's just sad. Like, what's well, trying to go through? Like, wait, My everything? To, wait, the shoes? Oh, wait, you are wearing shoes. Yeah. George! Yes? I gotta leave him. Okay, bye! I guess I'll see you back home! Even though we're in the same you know. And you're not coming for dinner, Sorry, that was gay. You guys should have come with me, but whatever. So it is show two of the day. Actually, show three. I ended up going to two earlier. And Louise is actually coming with, except she... Well, she's not coming with. She's going to the same show, but she has a slot earlier. And me and Sammy are going to slot two, and it's for Dreaming Ellie, which is such a cool designer, and what I'm wearing. They sent me an outfit to wear, which is such a sleigh. I kind of, like, never want to take this off my body. It's very cute. But now I'm just touching up my makeup, and then we're going to leave soon. Well, actually, Sammy's going to take some photos of me before we leave. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa! Get the f up, girl, and do what? Like, like, get the f up, get the f up, do, and do like what? 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 Like. Also, I need to get a cuter sweater to like wear around the house, cause girl, this Timberland sweater is not giving. <laughs> it's not. Okay, lipstick is on. Sammy's showering, and then we're gonna take some photos. But I thought, um, while Sammy's showering, I will show you the full fit. I need to find a place to do this because it's currently a mess. Also, it's like not my room, so like I don't take responsibility for that. But this. Hello, we are in London Fashion Week of the vlog day two. Day two of the vlog. I'm already exhausted. I don't know how people do like back-to-back -back shows all week. It's insane. But I have one today, which presents like a lot of like different designers. I actually don't know any of them, so it'd be pretty cool to see some of those. And then I might have two tomorrow. Definitely have one, might have two. And then I think one on Monday. So I think I'm gonna have like four days in total and I'm trying really hard not to like slowly concave within myself because I'm so tired. This is so dramatic for like no reason. Like it's really not that big a deal. The shows are like 10 minutes, I go, I show up and I'm like, yeah, I think it's like the prep for it. To be fair, I'm not really doing much else, like much different with like my makeup and stuff. It's just like the mental prep with the outfits. I feel like no one talks about. Like why is it so much pressure to go to London Fashion Week? Pressure that I've like never really like experienced before. It's like, oh my God, my outfit has to like be the the best, it has to slap, and I'm like, wait, why do I feel like this? Like, why, 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 why are those thoughts in my head? Like, it literally doesn't matter. I'm going to watch a show. And I feel like an insight into, like, London Fashion Week that I noticed as someone who hasn't really done many shows is, like, there is such a range of people there. There's, like, definitely, like, the people, obviously, who work for, like, the, the brands or are doing research, and they are, like, I mean, everyone's serving, but, like, there's definitely, like, some people there that are, like, more casual, you know? And I don't think it's, like... It's a big deal, it's really fun, don't get me wrong, it's great, but I think it's like not as big a deal as like it seems sometimes. Apparently like New York Fashion Week is intense, but I'm just like serving looks, um, yesterday's look was crazy, but that was loaned to me by the brand, which is so cool. And I was supposed to get I think a few more outfits for like the next few shows, but I don't think they're gonna arrive, so I'm making do with what I have in my wardrobe, which is always the best way. Anyway, because like I'm about to go buy some stuff just for like the week. 
especially like some crazy stuff that I'm not gonna wear again. Like yesterday, if I had bought that outfit, like, I mean, it's beautiful, don't get me wrong, like I want it, to be honest. I'm like, give it to me now. But girl, where am I wearing that to, you know? After my long rant about like my opinions and thoughts on London Fashion Week, basically I just pretend like I know what I'm doing. I show up and I'm like, <whistles> then get some photos, which is always overwhelming. And then I go in and I'm like, for like 10 minutes and then I leave. And that's literally my contribution to Fashion Week. But yeah, I will shut up and show you the outfit I picked today. I'm also still at Louisa and Sammy. Sammy's at work. Louisa's somewhere getting ready. And the chaos that reigned yesterday for absolutely no reason. I actually don't even remember what, I, what, what of it that I, what of it that I filmed. Oh my god, what part of it I filmed. But I'll be interested to look at that when I'm editing. <laughs> I'm only 17, I don't know anything, but I know I'll miss you. Sitting in your cardigan, stuck by the street lights, you know I miss you. Why do I look like I'm literally glowing with paciness? This is not okay. Um, I literally look like a Victorian child. But you know I miss you. Okay, today I'm gonna do a mirror moment because I feel like it's kind of easier and you can see the whole outfit. So this necklace corsage thing I got from Depop. It's like hand crocheted. I think I mentioned it here before. The jacket I got on Depop as well. I have to tag the seller because um, I can't really remember off the top of my head. That is bunched up and looking so ugly. This is a dress actually from with Jean. And I thought it looked so cool paired over like this skirt that I got on Depop. So cute. I'll tag the name of the store, and then I got my knee-high boots on. Which I actually need to tie the laces looking at it now. But what do you think? I think it's super cool. Very fun, but different. And then I've gone for like my hair curly this fashion week. I think, I don't know, it's making me feel like more edgy. I'm like so edgy and like cool now that my hair is curly. This is also my natural hair. Which is cute, and I'm trying to embrace it, so it's like... And then I've added this coach bag with it. Cute.
Sydney. <laughs> okay, let's go. Everyone get up. Oh my God. That was wow, that was that was so good. It's time to go. Ooh, I've never known someone like you. Hey, what's up, you guys? Anyway, so after I feel like a lot of chaotic footage that I don't know how I'm gonna edit together. Maybe it comes together all right. We'll see. Uh, London Fashion Week is over. I feel like I was not able to capture um, a lot of it, but it was really fun and I got to show you some of my outfits. So I thought to finish it off, I'm going to do an event tonight anyway. It's not London Fashion Week based, but it's just the end of London Fashion Week. So I thought that this counts and I kind of wanted to like finish it off with something else. And plus, and plus, I really like my outfit today. I think it's super cute. So. With that being said, here's my outfit of the day. Well, the evening. So on top here, I'm wearing a Vive Maria. This I got in a vintage pop-up. Uh, it was the 202 Street pop-up, and I'll pop the seller's name on the screen because she was a seller that I found, a vintage seller that I found that I haven't seen before, which is rare because I feel like I like scroll to an endless pit where I literally know everybody. But I found out her, and she's really cute. Then my necklace I have on here is Blue Studios. She's very cute and actually has been my go-to for a while. My ribbons! My ribbons, you guys! My ribbons, they are... That sounded so obnoxious, but I promise it was sarcasm. My ribbons are... I think I literally got them in like a vintage parcel or something. So, that's that. Half my ribbons just come from packages. <laughs> and then, my hat I got on Depop. And then I got my trusty... Uh, my trusty shorts here, which are Urban Outfitters. I've mentioned her before. And then tonight, guess where I'm going? Can you tell? I'm going to an Adidas event. Um, and I'm wearing the Rivalry shoes. They're super cute, right? I freaking love these. And you know what I love about them? They are white and cream. So guess what, girl? You can style white and cream together. The impossible is made possible by these shoes. Slay. And then I got my little lace urban socks on. I feel like this was the most deconstructed outfit of the day. I don't have the best angle right now. But once again, I'm in a rush. So yeah, that's her. And then I'm gonna pair it with this bag. Again, once again, she makes an appearance. If you've been watching my other videos, you would have seen her before. Move their bag, got on Depop. And then also this this little green moment this is from motel but with that being said i want to close up here and thank you so much for watching if you watched this it's been so much fun to make i've been enjoying these little like random snippets i feel like it's very thrown together at the moment i, I hope to like create some more structure um i think it has enough structure maybe i'm being too hard on myself but i really would want to know what you guys want to see so far i've made three outfits of the week or what well, outfits i wore this week videos i think it's just fun to share a little bit more of like my thought process and like some clips of like what i'm doing so like just fun for memories you know um but yeah let me know if you want to see something like a little bit more in detail like maybe i can style like thrifted things i bought recently or like maybe i can style like a specific item or like maybe i can do like something completely not fashion related so yeah, I'm new to YouTube, so who knows where this is going to go, and also who knows what I'm going to make. I'm going to kind of just put everything out there for y'all to eat it up, and if you eat it up, I'll make more of it. So yeah, thank you so much for watching again. If you are new, please subscribe. It means the world to me in my new venture on YouTube. And if you don't follow me on my socials and you found me here, hi. I love that. Um, but yeah, I do make fashion content on Instagram. And TikTok and on TikTok I make some silly goofy things too. So if you're in just for a good time, that's on there too. Anyway, I love you. Bye.